Ludicrous Feed is proudly sponsored by Carloop, data to empower Australia's EV revolution, and Hankook, driving emotion. BYD will launch its next generation Blade battery in 2025, offering longer range and extended lifespan. There will be improved performance, focusing on higher energy density to boost driving range. The goal is to have their batteries capable of up to 800 kilometers of range. There are plans also to enhance battery reuse in energy storage after their first life cycle. Existing LFP blade batteries boost 600 kilometers of range and over 5,000 charge cycles. Of course, BYD is proud of its safety record, passing the nail penetration test. Of course, the BYD Blade battery is used across its EV lineup from compact EVs like the E2 to hot hatches like the Seal 06 GT. Tesla's Berlin-made Model Y adapted Blade batteries in 2023 for faster charging. New generation Blade batteries are expected to debut in models like BYD's luxury Yangwang U7 sedan. BYD continues to lead innovation in battery technology, setting new benchmarks for safety, performance, and sustainability in the EV market. Tesla is offering $1,400 off the Model 3 and Model Y for Australian customers using a referral code. Referrers earn $700 in Tesla credits for accessories, supercharging, or other Tesla products. Elsewhere in the world, in the US, there is a $2,000 discount for new customers via referrals, and referrers also get a $1,000 in credit. In China, the Model Y price has been reduced, and there is also an option for a five-year interest-free loan. And in Europe, one-year free supercharging is offered for Model Y orders delivered by the end of the year. Why the push? Well, in Australia, Tesla sales have been down by 20% in 2024, and the referral and leasing deals aim to recover momentum, especially with a refreshed Model Y and an upcoming affordable model potentially expected in 2025. These initiatives could possibly secure Tesla's position as the world's best-selling car for the second year in a row. Of course, as a shameless plug, I'll leave my referral code in the video description below. BYD's Shark 6 plug-in hybrid electric vehicle has received nearly 4,000 orders in Australia, with orders being placed in less than a month since launch. There's been a strong response with 2,000 orders being placed in the first 48 hours. The BYD Shark 6 has a 29.58 kilowatt hour lithium ion phosphate battery. It has a claimed 100 kilometers of electric only range and 800 kilometers of total range. It's got two electric motors, 170 kilowatts up the front and 150 kilowatts at the rear with a total combined power of 320 kilowatts for the all wheel drive vehicle. It's also got a 2.5 ton braked towing capacity. The starting price for the BYD Shark 6 is $57,990 in Australia before on-road costs and it's available in three colors, great white, tidal black and deep sea blue. The first 2000 orders received $500 worth of complimentary accessories and the BYD Australia website initially crashed when orders first opened for the Shark 6 due to high traffic, but strong early demand continues into late 2024. Production units are reportedly heading to Australia next month in December 2024, and customer deliveries are expected to start in January 2025. The Shark 6 is positioned as a competitive alternative to traditional utes like the Toyota Hilux and Ford Ranger, and this shows there's growing interest in cleaner, hybrid and hopefully electric vehicles in the Australian market. Tesla has launched the Lease My Tesla program in Australia, aimed at making EV ownership more affordable and boosting flagging sales. Here's what you need to know. What's new? Well, the program simplifies Novator leasing, allowing customers to calculate financing directly through Tesla's online configurator. It's powered by Driver, a local finance company. For example, on a $80,000 income, leasing a Tesla Model Y costs $669 per month post-tax. This is far cheaper than traditional options includes Tesla's $3,000 leasing incentive for quarter four 2024. EV leasing in Australia offers fringe benefit tax exemptions, making ownership even more cost effective. Why now? Well, Tesla sales in Australia have actually dropped 20% this year, losing ground to more affordable Chinese EVs like the MG4, for example. Programs like this hopefully will aim to retain Tesla's top spot in the market. I guess time will tell. With rising competition, Tesla's strategy makes EVs hopefully more accessible for everyday Australians, but will this be enough to boost their numbers? GAC, a leading automaker from China, is set to enter the Australian market with the Aeon V, its first export electric vehicle. It's already debuted at the Thailand International Expo 2024 recently with the 602 luxury variant. It's going to be competitively priced at the equivalent of 45,000 Australian dollars, 
targeting models like the BYD Atto 3. The Aeon V will have a single motor powertrain with 165 kilowatts of power and 240 newton meters of torque. It will have a 75.2 kilowatt hour LFP battery with the ability to fast charge from 30 to 80 percent in 16 minutes with a max charge rate of 180 kilowatts. It's going to be NEDC rated at 602 kilometers or about 500 kilometers WLTP. It'll have a spacious design with dual screens, a large landscape infotainment display, and a driver instrument cluster screen as well. In Thailand, there'll be six options available with orange as the standout hero color. GAC, where the G stands for Guangzhou in China, has produced over 2.5 million vehicles in 2023. It's going to be expanding into key right-hand drive markets such as Thailand and Australia. Deliveries in Thailand will start in the next few months with the Australian launch of the Ion V expected in early 2025. Of course, as always, I'll try to get a press card to test drive for you guys. MG continues to lead the charge in affordable EVs, extending the price cuts that made the MG4 the best-selling EV in Australia this October. The MG4 Excite 51 remains at $32,990 drive away, while the Excite 64, offering an extra 100 kilometers of range, is priced at $34,990 drive away. With a driving range of up to 450 kilometers and rear-wheel drive, the MG4 combines efficiency and a dynamic driving experience. For performance enthusiasts, the X-Power variant delivers a stunning 0 to 100 km an hour in 3.8 seconds. Safety and peace of mind are key. The MG4 has a 5-star ANCAP safety rating and comes with a 10-year warranty, one of the best in the industry. In 2024, MG4 sales surpassed 5,200 units, driven by strong demand and competitive pricing. In October alone, MG outsold Tesla. These extended offers are available until December 31st, 2024, with MG's ongoing push for affordability. Hopefully the future of BEVs in Australia is looking bright. Electric vehicle sales in Australia showed signs of stability in November, holding steady despite challenges in the broader automotive market. Tesla bounced back from a tough October, reclaiming its position as the top EV brand. However, sales were still down 45% compared to November last year, reflecting ongoing challenges. BYD also faced a slow month despite strong incentives for models like the BYD Seal. Meanwhile, MG's affordable MG4 continued to attract buyers, securing its spot as the third best-selling EV for the month. Overall, 6,585 EVs were sold in November, accounting for 6.5% of total vehicle sales. This marks a slight increase from October, but a significant drop from last year's figures. Experts point to cautious consumer behavior and a preference for hybrids as key factors influencing the EV market. Plug-in hybrid sales rose sharply, showing that many Australians are still exploring transitional options. Addressing challenges like charging infrastructure and affordability remains crucial to boosting consumer confidence and accelerating the shift to EVs. Despite mixed results, new models and incentives are helping maintain interest in electric vehicles as Australia continues its transition towards sustainable transport. LDV's second electric ute, the E-Terra 9, will launch in Australia in 2025 alongside the diesel Terra 9. Testing is underway across New South Wales, Victoria and Queensland for safety systems like lane keeping and speed sign recognition. It's got a geometric inspired exterior with unique headlight differences between the electric and diesel variants. The E-Terra 9 is 5.5 metres in length, 1.997 metres in width and 1.86 metres tall, making it one of the largest utes in its class. There are two variants, a 200 kilowatt rear wheel drive and a 325 dual motor all wheel drive variant with a 200 kilowatt rear and 125 kilowatt front motor. The e 9 is aimed at fleets and mining companies looking for a factory built electric ute solution. First deliveries are expected in the second quarter of 2025 with more details on pricing and specifications to come. In 2024, Australia's electric vehicle market has reached a major milestone with over 100,000 plug-in cars sold before the year's end, surpassing the previous annual record. This figure includes both full battery electric vehicles and plug-in hybrids, the latter seeing a notable increase in sales, now contributing more than 20,000 to the total count. The Electric Vehicle Council points out that while EV sales are growing, the pace has slowed compared to 2023, which saw a sharp 161% increase over the previous year. The decline in Tesla sales, down nearly 21% this year, is part of this trend. Other brands like BYD have seen success with plug-in hybrids, but are also facing challenges in the pure battery electric vehicle segment. The market's growth is being driven by more affordable models, such as the MG4, now priced from around 33,000 Australian dollars. 
These budget-friendly options have helped boost EV sales, with the MG4 becoming one of October's top sellers. Despite ongoing cost of living pressures, the demand for EVs remains strong, with the sector continuing to expand, aided by government incentives and increased competition. Looking forward, the introduction of the new vehicle efficiency standards in 2025 is expected to further enhance affordability and expand choice in lower emission vehicles, ensuring continued growth for the industry. As the EV market evolves, ongoing policy support will be key to maintaining momentum and ensuring a sustainable future for the sector. Synergy, a government-owned energy retailer, has completed the Northam EV charging station, the final location in Western Australia's Southwest Interconnected System, otherwise known as SWIS. The SWIS is the largest isolated electricity grid globally, stretching from north of Perth to Albany, with no connections to other states or territories. The WA EV network is the longest EV charging network in Australia, with 110 fast charging points across 49 locations, spanning over 7,000 kilometres. The network includes fast chargers ranging from 75 kilowatts to 150 kilowatts, along with AC charging backups. Over 24,360 charges have already been completed by EV drivers, showcasing strong adoption and the use of the network. Western Australia was named one of the top 100 world's greatest places to visit in 2024 by Time magazine, partly due to the innovative EV network. The WA EV network is a joint effort between Synergy and Horizon Power, covering both regional and remote areas. Hyundai has revealed its new three-row, seven-seater electric SUV, the Ionic 9. It's been spotted in Australia, a green right-hand drive model, hinted at local testing. It's got sleek vertical tail lights with bold Ionic 9 badging. There's also a minimalist interior featuring a large infotainment and driver display and digital side mirrors too. It's expected to be powered by a 110.3 kilowatt hour NMC battery, one of the largest in the market. It's got an 800 volt architecture for rapid charging, for example, 10 to 80% in 24 minutes. And the top variant has a 320 kilowatt motor and 700 newton meters of torque and a 2.5 ton towing capacity. It's going to compete with the Kia EV9, starting at 97,000 in Australia, and also the Zika 009 Ultra Luxury MPV. The Australian release is expected in 2025. The Ionic 9 complements Hyundai's range, including the Kona Electric, Ionic 5, and Ionic 6. And as always, I'll try to get a press card to review for you guys on the channel. Jaguar has unveiled its boldest concept yet, the Type 00, a striking electric design that redefines the brand's identity, embracing a vision of creativity and innovation. Described as unmistakable and unexpected, the Type 00 makes a fearless statement in line with the ethos, copy nothing. From its Batmobile-inspired nose to its avant-garde London Blue and Miami Pink palette, the Type 00 challenges traditional luxury car aesthetics. The interior takes it a step further. A dramatic 3.2 meter brass spine divides the cabin, housing floating instrument panels and a design language that feels as much art installation as vehicle. While the site hints at a rocket-like elegance, views from above and behind introduce playful, video game-like shapes, yet retaining subtle nods to Jaguar's heritage. Revealed at Miami Art Week, this concept serves as a preview of Jaguar's upcoming four-door GT set for 2025. The production model will feature Jaguar electric architecture, offering up to 770 kilometers of range and ultra-fast charging 321 kilometers in just 15 minutes. Love it or question it, the Type 00 is a daring step into the future, a reflection of Jaguar's promise to blend art, technology, and a legacy of innovation.